Hi, welcome to King Motors. You've clicked the link to our 2017 Nissan Qashqai N Connector. This is the facelift edition of the car. Very, very rare in 2017. It came out right at the end. Would have been like used as a demo sort of car, so very well specced. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a quick spin around and show you all the buttons and features and functions and what are sort of the advantages and niceties of these Qashqais. But we are Qashqai specialists for the last six years, I'd say, and we're easy in the 1300s in terms of just numbers of this model we've sold, or should I say the, the slightly older model. Um, so we know them really, really well. Other than that, I'm going to put a link in the description should you find the ad on YouTube or something. Where it'll click the link, it'll take you right to the ad, give you all the specific details and all that kind of stuff that I'll miss, no doubt, in the small ad. And finally, I just want to put the price here as to what you can finance the car for from us, should you choose to. Here we are out driving the Qashqai. And as I said in the description, it's the newer model. So it's the facelift model, but it's not a new model from the ground up. It's just a very slight evolution of the first one. Um, and I think what they've done is quite clever because there really wasn't anything wrong with the first one. The first one was a perfectly good car. Everything was right about it. And the leap they made from the very first Qashqai to the second one was done in the same vein. It was just a nice evolution of everything that worked. So th there's nothing like, uh, Nothing wrong in here. Everything is right. There's some nice extra little touches. We've you've auto hold on the handbrake and stuff, which is a nice thing. We've a flat bottom steering wheel like the GTRs. Just some nice little bits. Um, then they changed the design of the seats ever so slightly, but it's it's certainly they don't feel any more or less comfortable than the old ones. But they do look a little bit better. I'll be honest. Um, I, I like them quite a bit. Other than that, it does all the same stuff that a Qashqai does. You know, um, and like I always say to people, what is a Qashqai? What does it do? Qashqai's are a small car, or a big car should I say, with a small engine that are excellent on fuel and they actually perform. That combination didn't, couldn't possibly exist six, seven years, or sorry, 15 years ago. You just couldn't have it, you know? And what happened, what came along was the gearbox tech got really good, but the engine management systems and the turbochargers in modern diesels, just night and day, you know, it really allowed this stuff to properly exist. Years ago, a small engine in a big car was horrific on fuel, like a, like a, a, a Hyundai Trajet or something, you get 17 or 18 miles to the gallon. These will actually give into the 50s in terms of MPG. And then the other really nice bonus that these give you is they give you that high 4x4 driving position. So you get this lovely vantage point out over the road, you get to see everything. You can see over the roofs of the cars in front of you, which is great in terms of like lowering your anxiety on mucky days and stuff on motorways, certainly for me. Uh, the fact that I can see is certainly nicer, but it does it all without the downsides of, a, of an actual 4x4. Actual 4x4s are quite top heavy and they're very, very thirsty on fuel and they carry around like half a ton of weight and stuff that they just don't need to make them capable off-road, which most of them never go. So it's, 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 it does all the things you want from a car and it does it well. Then it also drives like a car, which is a huge bonus, believe it or not. If you've ever driven a proper 4x4, you'll know that they're cumbersome, top heavy things. They're not, um, Unless you need one, you really shouldn't have one. Would be my opinion on uh, on your like your more agricultural jeeps, you know. Uh, then spec wise, fully loaded. So again, it comes with the 360 cameras, sat nav, um, we full Bluetooth phone connectivity, and what that does that allows us to play any Bluetooth device we have in the background of the car. So it just it's a really really well spec car, very smart looking car, wonderful family car. We sell them by the boatload to family. So. We're doing something right with them. And as I said in the intro earlier, like we're well into 1300 units of these things alone, this model. So we know them very, very well. Um, so at that, I'm gonna stop talking about the car and I'll move on to us quickly, just during these kind of weird times where we're distance selling. Um, about the company, we were one of the first ever secondhand dealers to the SIMI, and now we're an AA approved dealer on top of that. So that's a big feather in our cap, in our opinion. Um, the AA are very brand protective, so they won't just allow anyone to be a brand ambassador for them. So you have to be meet a certain you know level for them to allow you in. And for us, I think it speaks volumes about the type of business we are and what we can do. The AA approval also allows us to give up to two years of AA warranty, nationwide warranty. So it'll work on the car anyway, Donegal, Cork, Kerry, wherever you are, it works. You're repaired there, they loan you cars, all that kind of stuff. So a very comprehensive thing. Um, but yeah, with that in mind, I'm going to wrap the whole video up there and I'm just going to say thanks for watching it. We do appreciate you taking the time to do it. Um, we hope it makes your decision to come and see us easier.
and kind of shows you the type of people we are and what sort of business we're running um but yeah again i'll just say goodbye and uh, hopefully we get to see you soon Thank you.